In my last video I showed you how I made imitation platform and road signs using nothing more than wire and a cotton bud. Um, this was one of the, uh, the examples that I showed. Since then I've experimented with trying to get an LED into the light to make it more realistic and now I'm going to show you how I did this. First of all you'll need um, either an empty aerosol uh, container or something small because you'll need to mix in some plaster polyfiller or similar to make a mould. In my case I used a, a plastic container so that I could make um, more than one mould at this time. Also we will then need some blue tack piece there that I've already rolled up, only a small piece uh, and a piece of cling film, a small piece that's all that's required. First of all once you've mixed your your uh, your filler or your plaster, I used ordinary plaster um, you can then when it goes off actually using one of my original cotton bud ones with the wire up so that in fact it's sturdy or you could even uh, simply push a wire up one end into the cotton bud and, uh, and use an ordinary cotton bud for this purpose but it makes life a little easier because the idea is to press out an existing mould you can see that into the filler slightly bigger is fine so you've actually made that mould because the one thing that you can't do um, is drill out a cotton bud even if it has been soaked in copied X or PVA it just uh, the cotton wool just uh, um, just encircles the drill bit and uh, it all pulls away so what I'm going to do as I said is make these moulds let them dry off and then you've got an outline which you then use a piece of a piece of uh, cling film, only a tiny piece is needed, which you place over the mould. In this case, over this one here, pull it reasonably taut, it doesn't have to be too much, but this will avoid it, uh, avoid what we're going to do next, sticking to the, the plaster. The next thing we're going to do is roll up a small ball of blue tack and then we're going to press it in to the mould like so. It doesn't matter about the rough edges at this stage we can cut those off with a craft knife afterwards. Once we've done that and we're happy that that's all down we can then take the cling film out and we've actually got the outline you can see there of the light from above. So it's kept the size of the cotton bud but we haven't got an LED into it at this stage. Carefully peel off the cling film and keep the blue tack moulding of your outline of your lamp. You can then take the mould, it's right, cling film goes everywhere and sticks to everything, and with scissors you can actually trim the amount off like this. I would advise you to do this afterwards but just to show you how that it works. Because the next thing we're going to do is actually press an LED into this. How we do this is let's take um, an LED that I made earlier which was simply um, if you can see that there I have soldered the LED um, the two ends the live I've soldered to a solid uh, the plus solid wire so that I know that's the plus which is where the resistor to run on uh, 12 volt DC has to go and I've cut them at different lengths 
so that I can keep this as narrow as possible without anything shorting out. So if you trim one of the resistor ends, the negative, back to about half an inch from the LED and leave the other one longer, you'll get that separate spacing that's needed. Alternatively, you can put in a little bit of tape. At this point, um, the resistor has not been soldered on because we want to do that last because that won't go inside the cotton bud stick plastic tube I should say so at this point we have got it threaded and that's about it uh, I'm just going to trim off a bit of insulation I put on that one earlier that's off now so now we take the head and with the head we carefully push the LED into the blue tack like so so that if you look at it from above now you've got the outline of a moulded lamp that will just stay by itself you could fold over the ends make it a bit neater underneath but you'll, you're unlikely to see that anyway trim around the top as we said before to remove the rough excess like so anything that still seems to be out you can just push in if you want to or you can leave a lip there just keep make it as pliable blue tack so you can just bend it to any shape pat it tap it etc so then we've got effectively a finished light push the uh, pull the wire rather through up to the blue tack and the wire if you remember from the last video enables the moulding which was the cotton bud to stay in place has the same effect now so I can bend the light with the LED in push that down and effectively you've got a lamp with an LED in the next thing is to um, drill a hole through the baseboard and then solder the resistor to the solid wire in this case the green which will give me the sufficient will give me the current and the, the LED will light up so again you can move, move this around once you've got it to the shape that you like and most of them because you've used a moulding will come out very similar um, once you've painted them and I prefer enamels here because I find the acrylic doesn't stick to the plastic tube once you've painted them then the um, outside coating of the, uh, of the blue tack becomes quite firm um, and is not, well it can be moved but it's not, that, uh, it's not that soft so that's almost the finished article but I want to show you one here where I've made a street light using exactly the same idea but I've actually extended and you can see that extended the, uh, the, the top of the, uh, of the light out as many street lights are all that I did there was actually cut a piece off of the um, of the cotton bud and threaded what was probably about three quarters of an inch on first to there and then the original cotton bud again in this case I've actually now soldered the resistor in line because the hole is big enough to take it using the wire there as a uh, as a uh, as a, um, a fitment for the hole so I painted this one grey but uh, there it is the finished article which I don't think looks too bad as a street this shows Mountford Parkway uh, at night in the yard area there are a couple of yard lights light in the storage area and also in the offices and on the platform my new lights as per the uh, video I've put up on YouTube made from cotton buds LEDs and blue tech the station building which was converted uh, backman uh, office block had a new roof and canopy and inside there is an LED to light up the photorealistic ticket office moving along there are a couple of street lamps again you can see the LEDs and if I move further down to the TMD this is now illuminated with LEDs 
inside the workshops and two on the front and uh, at the rear in uh, Mountford Fabrications somebody's still in the office the light being left on